Hey there, Aries. Hope you guys' this weekend was good to you guys. Just want to say I appreciate you guys. My God, I am like having a literal standoff with my cat right now. He, I got him a running water dish, and he still has to move the bowl. And today he's just being ornery. He is taking his paw and like scooping the water out of the cat bowl and looking right at me. Like we've been going at it for like 10 minutes now, and I'm just laid a towel down. I'm like, he's going to keep trying me, so we're just going to go with it. All right, Aries, let's find out what the cards are saying for you guys. What messages you need to know right now for your highest good. This is for my beautiful sign of Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, tell about Aries, please. Okay. Foundation. Obsession. Only you. Like connection at the bottom here. All right. Okay. So there's definitely an energy of here of wanting to build a solid foundation, but I'm getting a couple stories in my head. This could go a different couple different ways. Hang on, let me see if I can go a little bit more. Give me the overall energy here for Aries. Guilt. Releasing any beliefs that no longer assist in your soul's growth. Okay, so this person's going to come back here and try to guilt trip you. Okay, we're releasing any guilt that um, hinder us from, you know, leveling up. Okay, for us uh, moving, you know, oh gosh, just knowing our worth. Sorry, guys, I had to look at that card to see. I swear this cat and me, man. <laughs> We've been battling with the ba the water bowl. It's been quite funny. Um, so we're not repeating any past um, mistakes here, okay? Something here about you learning some kind of karmic lesson. Somebody here wanted you to fail. Somebody is failing without you. Somebody wanted you to fail and you're not, okay? Because you're over here building that foundation for yourself here. And you got somebody here that is stuck in, a, in addictions, obsessing over you, trying to come back here and tell you that it's you that they want. They're devoted to you. They want you, okay? I feel like this is somebody that you brought something back from a past life with that we're not going to repeat this with. Or it's just some kind of um, something about not letting people guilt trip you as well could be part of the life less, the life, the past life lesson. If I could get my words out, gosh. So... We understand when something falls apart in our life, it's just because there's something better coming. This person's going to try to come back and convince you that you guys can make it work this time, that they want the same thing that you do, but I really feel like this person's going to repeat this pattern with you if you take them back. Let me get one for Aries. Aries. When when outcome is forecasted, could be done with the Libra, have that in your moon rising or Venus. So that's that foundation that you're sitting here building for yourself. The outcome is a win for you. Okay. While well, this other energy has been failing. And something here about you winning winning this past life lesson here. Okay. Something about completing a karmic lesson with somebody here from a past life, guys. Be bold and make the first move. Yeah, because somebody wants to take a bold and make Somebody wants to take a bold. Somebody wants to be bold and make the first move towards you guys, okay? Take time to breathe out from the past. And you got new starts coming in here, too. So you got new energies. Why you getting ready to be busy here, aren't you? I mean, you got a lot of different things that I'm picking up. I can't even, like, my, my brain, you hear me talking. It's like I'm going off track because I keep hearing all this crap in my mind. You had all these new things coming towards you. We're taking time out. We're looking at things. We're assessing things, okay? Even new things coming into our life. We're going to take time out. We're not going to make um, quick decisions towards things, okay? But I still feel like whatever you're picking here is going to be a win here for you. You got people getting ready to take moves towards you. You may need, blah, you may need to be bold and make this first, first move to get one of these new starts here, guys. This is about you just seeing, like I said, not rushing into things, taking time out. It just It's energy of feeling rushed. I feel rushed right now. You've got this. Okay, it makes sense now. So you've got things coming towards you quickly here. 
past people trying to come back and brush you back into connections. I feel like new people coming towards you. We're not letting anybody rush us quickly into anything that we're not ready for yet, guys. This is about you. That's why I take that time to breathe out is there as well because we're not going to let people rush us. We're going to take our time. We're going to do things our way this time and we're going to win because of that. Confidence is your key to success. Could be go with the Leo. Have that in your moon rising or Venus here. But this is about you gaining your confidence and your strength to go after that success. And again, it's a win-win. So again, there is something here for somebody that needs to make the first move to go towards the success. Because there's something here about you had past people shred your self-esteem down, your confidence down, tell you that you couldn't do this and you can't do that. Okay? You had people that wished failure on you. Okay? Now it's time for you to win. It's your winning season. I feel like these people that wished failure on you are the ones now in the failure energy. Because you have to care for what you wish on people, man. People understand that. Tell about foundation here. King of Cups. So, something about <clears throat> this person wanting to come back here and guilt trip you and tell you that they want the family that they never had with you now or if you have family they want that back together okay they want to build a foundation with you okay they want the same things that you do I feel like you have an actual emotionally mature person stepping up here for you okay and that's part of one of your new starts here as well is somebody here has new love and this person like I said they're very emotionally intelligent they're they know how to open up um, they know how to express their feelings and be vulnerable, okay? They want to build that foundation like you do, okay? This this past person I'm picking up on, we ain't letting this, this mofo come in here and try to manipulate us and gaslight us. We ain't letting them do that. They ain't on the same page as you. They don't want the same things as you do, okay? So we're going to look in another direction because you clearly have people coming towards you. Tell me more about foundation. Tell me more about foundation. Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups. Now look at this. So yes, you've got somebody here. A divine match. Okay, that's part of the new starts coming in. Somebody that wants to work on things like you do. But it's like here with this past, it's like you need to protect somebody. Protect yourself from this past person and this foundation that you're wanting to build. This past person is used to getting this... Um, nurturing empathetic version of you but this is who you shifted to now okay and you're just you're not going for it anymore and something about this person that will try to make you feel bad for wanting better things for yourself and creating new relationships with new people there's something here about this person not wanting you to have any type of an emotional support system whether that be friends family okay and definitely don't want you to have a healthy new relationship while they're on the outside they don't want that for you but oh well right i'm just telling you their thoughts so Again, there is a divine counterpart that wants to come towards you and build the same things that you do. And then this is about protecting this foundation that you're building here. Okay? Because you got this past person that wants to try to come back here, guilt trip you. This past person, I feel for some of you, went off and tried to build something with somebody else and left you here to mend the pieces of your broken heart. And they wanted to make it out to be you be the bad guy here. That's part of that failure that somebody wished on you. Well, guess what? It's going to flip now. Now this person is going to have a falling out with who they were with. And you're going to meet your somebody. And you guys are actually going to build that foundation. So... New offers coming in, solid offers coming in here, okay? And this is also could be new job offers. This could be just making new um, streams of income and things like that for yourself, building that foundation, okay? And not letting this drama and chaos get in the way of this foundation. Are you going to do that again, Slater? I thought we battled already about this. <laughs> My cat, I swear. No more drama and chaos with the foundation. We don't, the foundation's got to be, you know, rock solid. We can't have this, this brittle crap in our foundation. That ain't going to work. So, Slater. Stop that. Yeah, you. Oh, my gosh. We're keeping our, um, we're keeping silent with the past here. And this is about us just knowing that this past person's full of crap and they're just trying to guilt trip you. Trusting your intuition and seeing things for what it is. And just having this inner knowing that there's something better coming in for you. Because there is, okay? Those past persons, it'll just will bring a bunch of 
drama and chaos back into your life if you allow them when you're clearly trying to build this foundation here. Okay, don't don't let them bring that back in. And they will definitely get in the way of that person that wants the same thing that you do. Okay? You have wish fulfillments, new starts coming in because you did the inner work. You've been healing. You're working through everything at this time, okay? See, you're getting ready to take off. And this past person knows this. That's why they want to try to come back and guilt trip you. Because they ain't doing good wherever they went. And they see you over there doing something. And they're trying to go jump ship and be here with you is what they're trying to do. I'm talking about obsession. Slater. Oh my gosh, my cat will not stop. Three of Cups. So this person wants to reconcile with you. This is somebody that's had an obsession with you if they went towards somebody else. This is somebody that will still be obsessed with you if you get into a new connection here and there on the outside. So no matter which way you cut it, a person is going to be obsessed. I mean, that's all there is. Something about this person watching your investments, watching who you're investing your time with too. Because there's definitely an energy here about this person watching you step into your growth, planting those seeds, okay? Whether that be a new relationship, new job, new hobbies, just self-improvements. Those persons seeing all that materialize and grow from you nurturing it, okay? Those persons are very obsessively wanting to know who you're investing your time with and what you're doing. Like, where's your money? Like, this person wants to know everything about you. This person is going back and forth, feeling restless, okay? This is somebody here that, you know, not has stability in their life. Like I said, it's a back and forth, hot and cold energy that this person was giving you. This is somebody that truly made you feel like you weren't good enough, feeling rejected, unwanted. Somebody that wanted you to feel down for the count, okay? This person here is in this energy where they, they butt hurt. You're not reconciling with them. You're not investing your time into them, and they over here feeling some type of way about it because you want better for yourself. You've been working on yourself. This person is watching you, again, build something here. So this person is like, it's almost like they have to sit and watch you build this life for yourself while they wish this bad on you and while their life's falling apart, they got to sit here and watch you build what they said that <clears throat> they had it to begin with and wanted to take from you. So, okay. Well, this one can't sleep at night because they can't stop watching you build this life for yourself. And they definitely ain't going to stop when they find this new energy coming in here for you. They already can't sleep over it. You're winning. They're just going to have to prepare to watch more because you got definitely have more coming. Tell me more about only you. Chariot. Energy. Fast moving energy coming towards you. Somebody that, that's the emotion. That's that match that I saw there. Okay, somebody that wants the same things as you do, okay? Emotionally and mature, this person is. Tell me more. This is somebody here that will help you heal more together as you move the relationship on, okay? You, after, and then a lot of you guys are meeting somebody here after a time of doing the healing work, okay? After pulling away from this past person of yours and doing work, then this person's coming in here for you, Okay? Got the past trying to cling on to you still though. Okay. This person is trying to the past is trying something here where they are wanting trying to get you to hold back from going towards new connections. So if you haven't met this new person yet, yeah, this past person really is going to try to tell you that they, you know, they gonna to try to steer you on a different path, we'll say. Now this past person. They, you're being called to hold back because this person doesn't want the same things as you did. You already gave this person a chance, okay? And you see how they treated you. So now there's this new person wanting to come in here and truly give you that stability. They want the long haul with you. They see marriage and there's that love offer coming in, okay? And then, of course, the past wants to offer this to you as well. But are we going to repeat a karmic lesson that is clearly here on the table right now? Are we going to let change come in? Because we've made changes for ourselves. So we've got better things coming in for us now. I feel like this is a test for a lot of you. Because some of you guys haven't met this new love yet. Tell me about past life. So this is about not repeating this. Same page of swords. This is about you uh, seeing things for what it is with this connection here. 
learning from this connection in this lifetime, okay? That this person is not going to treat you as an option, a choice to come back and forth, okay? You're not going to play the third party games, okay? This is about dropping these burdens in this lifetime and just laying this to rest and letting another, a new lover come in here for you if that's what you're wanting here, okay? So there's definitely something here about you learning about this person from this in this lifetime, seeing something, like I said, for what it is and making the choice to not let this person burden you anymore and drop the burdens these lifetimes so you can let new come in. Okay. Five of Swords. This is about you winning this lesson in this lifetime. You winning this. Okay. Keeping your silence and not playing into this person's game. Okay. This person repeats it over and over. This is somebody that will... Always have another lover in the background. This is somebody that will always cause these burdens, play these games. So this is about not repeating this with this non-committal energy that wants to come back and forth, okay? And try to get you back in this connection, okay? This is about seeing things for what it is with this past person and not wearing our heart on our sleeves, being more logical, and keeping our boundaries up, okay? Because this person's pissed off. That I look at that, that they see you over here winning, okay? You're doing good. Whether that just be your self-love, you know, this person, people could envy that. Because this person just sees that you're just over there chilling, minding your business, focus on that foundation, and you're looking good over there. And they just, they don't like that you're being so quiet. They want to know what's going on with you. But I'm telling you, there's definitely something here about you learning and gaining a lot of knowledge and wisdom in this lifetime from this connection, guys. With the hermit there, oh yeah. Definitely seeing things for what it is and definitely, you know, being much wiser from this connection. I've got water, water, air, water, earth. I've got cancer, air, air, Gemini, and fire here. So past life connection. We're not repeating these patterns anymore. This is a karmic lesson. We're done with it. Because somebody here is Holly. Holly. Somebody's name could be Holly. Somebody's name is... Uh, somebody's name. Somebody is feeling hollow, empty, and bored. Boredom. Okay, this is somebody here that's bored with their life. They're failing and they see you over there doing good, having these new things coming in for you and they feel empty. So now they want you to feel that way. This is someone that can no longer deplete you. This has been a long journey. Yeah, especially one you've carried over from another lifetime as well. Yeah, definitely. So this is about not letting this person drain you anymore. You're exhausted. You're over this person. This person views you as very charming, graceful, kind-hearted. And there's something here about this person that knows that you're a catch. You're, you're beautiful on the inside and outside. And they know this. That's why they know there's going to be people coming for you. Okay? Could be a twin flame connection here for somebody. You, this person doesn't like the, the way that you're mirroring them, the past. You hold a reflection up to the past person. Some of you guys could be meeting a new twin flame for some of you, and there's going to be shared feelings. You'll know when you've met your twin flame, trust me. Somebody here has got some attachments, third parties, listening to outside influences when it came to you, okay? And that's why they're failing now, because they wanted to listen to other people. They wanted to be attached to other things. They wanted to have third parties. So... <clears throat> Aries, 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 hey, are you there? Legal matters, divorce, some kind, somebody could be having child support issues, somebody's getting traffic tickets, coming up, you're turning your back, you're done, you're gone, tell me more. very my way type energy somebody that's very selfish stubborn arrogant they let their pride and ego and things have to be their way very controlling person you stepped into your spiritual okay awakening here had an ego death okay this person is going in a downward spiral spiral here i feel like something about this person needing to have an awakening here you're moving on and letting go and loving on yourself and freeing yourself from this situation and being done with it. That's why you've got new coming in. And this is somebody here that very well with Shady in reverse, this is somebody that could have made you to be the bad guy. 
That's what I got off of this. Somebody here that wanted to paint you out to be the shady one that, you know, because they wanted to go towards other people and make it seem like you were the bad guy. Well, they got outed out for that because they're finding out that you're not shady in reverse, okay? People are seeing that this person's, they're seeing this person's true way now. Okay. Tell me more. Somebody feels like crap now. Yeah, because they're not doing good. And you're over here having faith. You've been healing, been meditating, just taking your power back. And this person's having bad news. Yeah, they're not doing good. Having bad news, they're failing. While well, you've got romance coming into your life, okay, or it's here already, okay. Now they're under pressure, feeling like time's running out, okay. This one has sex addictions here. Why well, you have wishes coming in here. Okay, your wishes are coming in here. Some of you guys are going to have new children with this new love here. And some of you, this past person is having kids, has kids on the outside of this connection here. Somebody here is a clown. Okay, somebody here is a clown. Somebody's learning from this past life connection while the other one's going to repeat it for the next one. And then you've got this person that wants to watch your every move, obsessing, a psycho crazy ex here, okay, that acts like they fake busy when they ain't got nothing going on in their life because everything that they're trying to do is failing, so. I feel like this person was expecting to hear bad news about you, and, and they are hearing the total opposite of that. So I'm telling you, this person wished, it's like they wished whatever they wished on you is happening to them. Let me get one for um, Aries, please. Aries. Oh, I almost caught it. Tried to. All right. Sometimes holding on does more damage than letting go. So leave behind all that has been weighing you down for so long and reach for the opportunities that are waiting for you. I promise you will not regret it. In relationships, the biggest thing you must look for is consistency. Every time you forgive someone who is not being consistent with you, you are giving them the permission to hurt you again. You deserve better. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why you're not taking this person back and you've got new coming in. So, All right, my beautiful Aries, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back in a couple days. We'll do it all over again. You guys have a good rest of your Sunday. Light and love to you guys.